Often you will be required to test if the capacitor in a single phase motor is working or not. For this test, you can use either a digital or an analog multimeter. Because digital multimeters are more common, this is what we will use for this demonstration. Make sure to set your multimeter to the ohm setting. Then short the two leads together to make sure that your instrument is correctly calibrated. The resistance reading should be zero. It is very important to note that you should not use an insulation resistance tester for this test. These instruments often operate at about 500 volts. If you were to charge the capacitor to 500 volts, you will most likely exceed its design parameters and damage it. This capacitor, as we can see, has an operating voltage of only 280 volts AC. If necessary, you first need to isolate the posts in the terminal box connecting to the capacitor for the start and or the run windings, depending on what type of motor you are dealing with. Connect your lead to the terminals of the capacitor. In the ohm setting, the multimeter is passing a small DC current in order to calculate the resistance of the circuit. This current is charging the capacitor. Charge the capacitor in this way for a few seconds. Then, change the multimeter to the volt DC setting and reattach the leads to the terminals of the capacitor. What you should see is that the voltage reading gradually decreases as the capacitor discharges. If the voltage decreases in this way, it means that your capacitor is working correctly. As always, record the results of your test on your motor test form. Let's redo the test on a different capacitor to see what results we get. Set the multimeter to the ohm setting and short the leads to make sure it is correctly calibrated. Connect the leads to the capacitor's terminals. In this instance, we get a very low resistance reading indicating that current is flowing freely through the capacitor rather than charging it. This signifies that this capacitor probably has a short circuit between its blades. Current is allowed to flow freely between them. If we now change our multimeter to the volts DC setting, and reconnect the leads to the capacitor's terminals, we can see that this capacitor has not charged at all, indicating to us that this capacitor suffers from a short circuit between its blades. 